700 islands, of which 30 are inhabited. Seafaring has been a way of life here for centuries, and if you have boats, you need a lighthouse. I'm being taken to meet Geoffrey Forbes Jr., the lighthouse keeper, who is as much part of the history as the lighthouse itself. Geoffrey. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good, how are yeah. you? Right? Well, I grew up around lighthouses. We had eight in the Bahamas, and my dad traveled to all of them. So I was going to some knee high, I've been around lighthouse. So it's in my blood. But nowadays, it's like I'm the last keeper left. If you use a light bulb, like how they automated the rest, if you put a light bulb in there, it's not the same. And when you put the mantle on the real light, it's like a calm, smooth, you know, sensation. It's like, you know, it's memorizing. To me, it's a big difference, you know. You can see it for about 18, 20 miles. And people will say a lighthouse would be a lighthouse, but if it's not, you it don't have the human part of it, it's just a brick of wall. You know, in the community, this is a living being. But this lighthouse would take on an even greater role in the hearts of the locals. Hurricane Dorian has made landfall in the northwest Bahamas with winds of up to 180 miles an hour. On September 1st, 2019, Hurricane Dorian hit the Bahamas. It was one of the worst storms ever recorded in the region. Hurricanes aren't uncommon in this part of the world, but according to the World Meteorological Organization, extreme weather and climate shocks are becoming more acute in the Caribbean with the acceleration of long-term warming trends and a rise in sea levels. Officially, 74 people were killed and 245 were missing, but some claim the numbers may have even reached the thousands. Those who survived then had no water, food or electricity. So it was pitch black at night. You just see, couldn't even see your face, your hand in front of your face. And on the 11th day, um, a generator came and they got our light working. And everyone who still remembers that night when that light came on still almost burst into tears. <laughs> So, Reese, you want to see a light? I'm going to light it right now. Yes, please. OK, let's go. All right, then we call the vaporizer. It's got to be hot enough. And then I'll give you the honors of lighting it. Whoa, really? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you can feel that getting hot as well. It's like a sauna. Really hot. Crazy to think that the whole town can see us. Oh, yeah. They can see the light. If you're late, they'll call you and let you know. What's going on with the light? Feels like such history. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of history in it, you know? You got people to do this job, you got to love this job. Mm. You know? And you love it? I love it. It's my blood. <laughs> 